نہیں چار اگر کوئی مانے مگر میں نہیں مانتا میں Last week we sat with Dr. Sarwar and other prominent student leaders from the past discussing historical and contemporary issues that have affected the student unions and student leaders. This week we continue the debate in the last part of the series, Street Fighting Years. The left, NSF divided in so many factions. DSF was almost faded away in the end. No, it was banned. It was banned. Fine, it, it was, was banned, banned so it got faded away. So NSF divided, NSF Miraj. NSF Kazmi, NSF Rashid, but Jamaat Islami's IJT never had any faction. So why did this factionalization happen? I personally think that that also played a role in in in, make, in creating room for IJT to actually take over. Take over. We should come divided way. But in our weak government administration, the big hand. Punjab University, ke andar, baka the student department was opened. Which was chuna mandi based. I think. I will show you the order of the Chuna Mandi, the Chuna Mandi. The Chuna Mandi was a station of police where the mark was taken. The Chuna Mandi was sent to the Chuna Mandi. And against this war, in 1968, the Chuna Mandi was converted to the Chuna Mandi. It was a big movement to the Chuna Mandi. So, this is the case that our differences have been made. But this is the case that our 60s... But today, the Islamic Jamaat is the case. But today, Islamic Jamaat Talba controls a lot of campuses across Pakistan and they are more for force. Excuse me, excuse me. About two days or three days back, I was having the TV station, some cable. And Mr. Manavar Hassan came on the TV and he said that except for Islamic Jamaat Talba, all the other parties yeah, are governed by... Yeah, the program. My program. All the other student bodies are govern, governed by the political parties. parties yeah. And mine, ours is not. Yeah, but I think that's, I think that's established that Jamaat Islami is student wing as Islamic Jamaat Tulba. IJT came into permanence when Zia took over. Much, uh, much before, actually, uh, Nadeem, uh, 50s DSF, uh, 60s NSF. Now, 70s, when you're talking about, it was a time when uh, the, uh, the politics in our country has to do something. The changing government, the Ayub Khan, uh, he was trying to buy the intellectuals, they were trying to. So, uh, 70s was, and later on, uh, when the union were banned, then propped up these uh, ethnic and these Baloch students, Fana students. But I think. And also, the uh, religion became the, uh, you know, enter into power. I think Nadeem's uh, uh, main concern is that the Islamic parties was able to sustain itself while the left parties, DSF, NSF and the DSF which came in back in 1884, they weren't able to sustain themselves over a long period of time. And, even, and if today, if you look at it, you have more nationalist, ethnic based student uni, uh, organizations as opposed to a lot of left. Okay, DSF or NSF could be a political party. Correct. That was not, you know, and therefore these two also have no support. They were standing on their own leg. And they couldn't, they, they find it but, hard to But stand. shouldn't that be the whole purpose of student organization? That they should, the students should be able to stand on their own two feet from starting from 47 till present. But they sustain they, themselves. They, that is what the we did actually. I told you initially, in the first place, I told you that our idea was not to protect the student bodies, but make them make them strong for the students, by the students, and get them relief from other factors. That was, that and that is, a, that is that was a conscious decision by the progressive students, so that we could not divide, we should not divide the students on politics at that stage, early stage. We should. Unite them as far as possible. Later on, DSF did not disintegrate. DSF was banned. Fine. And Why other, was it banned? Other, okay. other, uh, other, along with the Communist other, Party, right? All the progress... Uh, they did a lot of witch hunting. All the, 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 but where, where did that rumor come? Uh, There's a question. Where did that rumor come that DSF is actually associated with the Pakistan, Communist Party of Pakistan? Uh, that's absurd. 
That is Why is that rumor still prevailing? Because prevailed? any progressive man, even now, who talks progressive things, he is called a communist. communist yeah. That is what it was. Okay. That is how it happened. Okay. So what happened was in 19 in April April 1954, there was a Pakistan American military pact. If you know the history. Yeah. Sito yeah. Sento. No, no, no. That came Mahana later. Achha, this, that was is, this was bilateral. Sito. This was a bilateral. Sito. This was a bilateral. Okay. Between Pakistan Sorry. and America. And Pakistan government wanted to prove to the Americans that we are very anti-communist. So they they caught all the people who were mm. in every field, labor field, first right. professors, journalists, students. They were all, when I was in jail, I think there were at least 100 people in jail, in jail. just because they had some progressive thoughts or somebody was carrying a Soviet Union magazine or New Times well, he was supposed to be a communist. Oh, yeah. huh? I, remember. I think McCarthyism sort of ah. uh, yes. over yes. here. Yes. Yes. And Moral Rearmament was another organization which came here and, you know, gave a uh, very liberal scholarship. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, MRA. Uh, MRA. Uh, but that's the same thing with NSF? Well, I think yeah. we're jumping a little One fast. Second. If we yeah. try to evaluate the, uh, the 50s until the mid-50s and all of the 50s and the 60s, it was the DSF and then the NSF that led, mobilized and led the students on their demands, whether it was the two-year degree, uh, the three-year degree Three course or students' fees or against the university ordinance that Ayub Khan brought about. So if we are covering about 20 years of our history and these two progressive bodies held fought and united the students so much that they were the vanguard of the movement against Ayub Khan, that movement which toppled a dictatorship. It is unprecedented in our history. Okay. Nothing like that has been repeated. So when you... So you say there is no parallel between that movement and the... Lloyd, uh, no, 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 I mean, oh, oh, the student uh, movement now was just a fraction of what happened at that time because uh, if, I think Mehraj Bhai can perhaps relate this uh, better because he was one of the architects of that movement. So I think it's... लेकिन हम पर तो थोप देंगे ना सारी हमारी आजादी को अमेरिकन राज्य हमारी इकोनॉमी को 50 यानी 54 में जिन जब इन्हें बैन किया गया जो इन लोगों को बैन किया गया इन देशों को बैन किया गया समझे ना और इन सब लोगों को गिरफ्तार किया गवर्नमेंट ने क्या किया मैं आपसे पूछता नंबर एक पाकिस्तान की इकोनॉमी को डिपेंडेंट इकोनॉमी बनाया बाहर से एड आ रही थी और कहा पाकिस्तान की इकोनॉमी डिपेंडेंट रहेगी आज तक पाकिस्तान की इकोनॉमी डिपेंडेंट है कश कोल लेके जिसे इनडायरेक्टली हम सब स्कूलों से थे पसंद नहीं करते थे कोई अपोज करता था बोलकर नहीं करता पसंद सेकंडली हमको फौजी मुहैदों में डाला हमारे मुल्क को बताया गया कि फौजी मुहैदे हमको प्रोटेक्ट करेंगे पता चला कि ये फौजी मुहैदे सिर्फ रूस के खिलाफ है जब पाकिस्तान डिवाइड हुआ तो कोई बचाने बचाने हमें नहीं आया हम लोग इन फौजी मुहैदों के खिलाफ लड़ते थे इसी पीरियड के अंदर आप ये देखिए कि एक झगड़ा शुरू हुआ प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द प्रेसिडेंट में जो आज तक चलता है कि पावर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट क्या होगा पर तो ख्वाजा नाजमुद्दीन को उस वक्त के गवर्नर जनरल गुलाम मोहम्मद ने निकाल के बाहर फेंक दिया और आज तक एक और बात मैं आपको कहना चाहता हूँ कि पैरिटी और वरी की बुनियाद रखी जिसके बाद बेंगाल हमसे निकल गया